Federal authorities are warning that a ruthless criminal gang from Venezuela has now infiltrated the U.S. Yeah, Tren de Aragua is accused of a string of seemingly unrelated crimes from an alleged multi-state human trafficking ring to the mysterious murder of a former police officer in Miami. Let's bring in CNN's Rafael Romo. Rafael, this is a gang that originated in a Venezuelan prison. That's right, Boris and Brianna. That's the most amazing thing, and that seemed to be their center of operation and uh, operations. And we already knew Tren de Aragua had spread its tentacles across South America. In the last several months, we investigated cases here in the United States that have all the markings of the gang, and now federal and local law enforcement, members of Congress, and immigrants are all telling us the same thing. The gang is now here in the country, and it poses a serious threat. For the last several years, they have terrorized multiple South American countries. The police in the region say a Venezuelan gang known as Tren de Aragua has victimized thousands through extortion, drug and human trafficking, kidnapping and murder. And now U.S. law enforcement, including Customs and Border Protection and the FBI, say the gang has made their way into the country. The FBI El Paso can confirm that members of Tren de Aragua have crossed into the United States. Alvaro Bosa, a former Venezuelan police officer now living in Florida, says he fled his country in large part because the gang had become so powerful they could kill law enforcement like him with impunity. Bosa says a fellow police officer who refused to cooperate with the gang was shot 50 times. He refused and was murdered. He tied his body to a motorcycle and dragged it throughout the San Vicente neighborhood to demonstrate the power of the Tren de Agua. They have uh, followed the migration paths across South America to other countries and have set up uh, uh, criminal groups throughout South America as they follow those paths and that they appear to have followed the, the migration north to the United States. U.S. Border Patrol Chief Jason Owens, who has confirmed multiple arrests of alleged Tren de Aragua members over the last year, issued a warning in early April after reporting yet another arrest. Watch out for this gang, he said. It is the most powerful in Venezuela, known for murder, drug trafficking, sex crimes, extortion, and other violent acts. The challenge for law enforcement officials is that it's very difficult to know how many members of Tren de Aragua are already here in the United States. What some Venezuelan immigrants are telling us here in Florida and other states is that they are already beginning to see in their communities the same type of criminal activity they fled from in Venezuela. Well, they do have their, um, their hands in prostitution, contract killing, selling of drugs, uh, selling of arms. Um, you name it. It's just all types of criminal activity that they can engage in. Anything that's an illicit activity, they're going to engage in for a profit. Tren de Aragua, a violent Venezuelan street gang that is operating in the United States. A judge in Miami-Dade County said in a hearing that one of two suspects in the murder of a former Venezuelan police officer in South Florida allegedly is a member of the gang. And more recently, a New York police source told CNN the 19-year-old who allegedly opened fire on two officers after they tried to stop him for riding a scooter in the wrong direction has tattoos associated with the gang. El gobierno no sabe quién es lo que están aquí. Bosa, the former Venezuelan police officer, says the U.S. government has no way of knowing if a Venezuelan immigrant asking for asylum at the southern border is, in reality, a criminal because Venezuela, as a matter of policy, does not share intelligence with the United States.